friends, it's so good to see you. I hope that we are all feeling nice and comfy and cozy on this lovely Sunday afternoon. I have my tea that has just finished steeping and I'm in my PJs and it's a little bit chilly today actually. I think it's because I washed my hair this morning. Um, I washed my hair this morning and I I didn't dry it so it's been a little bit chilly today and now I'm a little bit cold <laughs> so I've got a blanket standing by to uh, wrap around myself if I get cold and I've got Mavis sitting here and she is absolutely soaking wet because she was sitting in the rain so now she's in a bad mood and I'm ready to play some Pokemon. I've never played this game before. Um, it was, I managed to get it second hand for a pretty decent price. Um, please let me know of any audio issues or any kind of issues at all. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Welcome, one and all, to the wonderful world of Pokemon! Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. He's a bit of a rock star. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. Oh, and you know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax. Oh. It's a big dino. Sweet. What an intro. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute, very wholesome. Well, that's me, I think. Ding dong, hello, hello. Oh, that your flash new phone, T? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Pop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get tea. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, he's his brother. Come with me, T. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Bye, Hop. I just didn't say a word throughout that entire exchange. Oh, I'm moving. It's me. Oh. Do we have a cat? Wow, she she be sprinting. 
Is there a way to move a little bit faster? Okay. That's slower even. Up to you. Hi! Oh. We're awake. Can't move the camera angle either. Oh my god. Okay, I can't. Do anything else with you? Can I do anything? Else? Hi, Mum. Rushing off in that state, T. Didn't hop, so you should bring your bag. I last saw it in your room. Don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. This is a nice room. Oh, look, we have a switch! This is video game console sitting by the tally. Oh, that's really cute. I like the Eevee. Watch of the Pokemon Eevee. Okay, you grabbed your mum's old bag. Ew! Oh, I look so adorable. Uh, open the X menu by pressing the X button. You can save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and your next destination by selecting the town map. And you can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key item section of your bag. Oh. Okay, so guessing I'm gonna have to explore this map. This map looks less complicated than like previous Pokemon game I played. Um, what's in our bag? Do we have anything in our bag? Oh, we have a potion. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was not the controls I was expecting. I was expecting the controls to be using the R button to move that that's to use okay so we have oh we have an adventure guide a fishing rod it's not our adventure guide oh that's just okay got it okay okay let's go meet hop I guess Oh, it's the loading screen. I was so confused for a second. I was like, do I, do I move? What do I do? This is so cute. He didn't get very far. Like, why was he just waiting there? He couldn't have just waited inside. Oh, you're so cute. Haha, <laughs> have a look at you, T. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Kind of rude, actually. A Wooloo? But what's it doing here? You had one with you inside as well. Thank you so much for the follow, Legendary Lando. It's so lovely to have you here. Hi, welcome. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on that fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone here knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald? Weld? <laughs> oh, thank you for the reminder to hydrate, Legendary. I actually can't drink my tea right now because it's too hot, but... I will drink it as soon as it's cooled down a little bit. Uh, if you just want to like type into the chat to remind me in about 10, 15 minutes, it should be good. Um, then I will hydrate. <laughs> now that that's taken care of, how about it T, let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Hi. so rude to me. Hi, who are you? The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Cool. Hey T, Hop was looking for you, you know, but no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Oh, yeah, this is his house. 
Okay, I kind of don't like that I can't move the mouse. Oh my god, Hop has a big house. Like a manor. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've rolling tea. Hello, dear. Hello. Where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? Not here yet for the hundredth time. Learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Yes, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with T. You've never still ever met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on, out on the route. Let's go. Let's go meet him. Oh, that kid's gone. Let's get a move on. Hop's brother is the champion. Yeah, yeah. I, um, he said earlier on, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooly with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, T. So we'll stick here with the tall grass as we go. That's fair. She just straight up left me. A moment to me. Hello, Eski! How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you. Happy Sunday! Let's go meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming it's where all these people are waiting. Whoop. Hello. Did you really think that he was going to get lost? It's, it's just a straight path. And also, you know, it's his family home. <laughs> that wasn't an unnerving smile at all. Oh wow, he's so full of himself. Can you imagine just meeting someone and them just doing that? I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. Hey Sunny, how you doing my friend? I'm so happy to see you. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. It's too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon could be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Rawr. I have a Charizard actually. Like a plush. I think it's a Charizard. I have no idea where it is. I have to find that. I completely forgot I had that, but I have one. Lee. Hop! So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the short, sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here? I've got it. You must be T, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar's region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. I knew Tootie. I bet I can beat both of you back home. Well, I don't even have any Pokemon, so yeah. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. I'm also eating so I might be able- No worries, Eski! I hope that you enjoy your noms. I hope you're eating something yummy. I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. He's even wearing a cloak, like, oh my god, he's so full of himself. What's your favourite Pokemon? I mean, I do like, um, like, I always used to pick Chameleon. I haven't, I haven't played before any of you cancel me. I haven't played a Pokemon game since Emerald. Back on my, I actually have it right here. Ready to go. My Game Boy Advance. Had this since I was 
very, very young with Emerald still in it. This was my very first, this was my first video game, I think. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, I just, I found it the other day and I was like, oh my god, that's insane. Well, no, actually, this one was my first ever game, uh, Pokemon Yellow, the Pikachu edition. And um, this doesn't work anymore though, but Emerald still works. Um, my Game Boy still works and Emerald still works. Uh, that They were my first games, but I haven't played a Pokemon game. But, like, Emerald was the last one I played. Uh, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought T and me a Pokemon, didn't you? I know you must have. You, he owes me nothing. Like, I'm just some random kid. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. It is ancient, Sonny. It's so ancient. I think it's about 15 to 20 years old, that, that Game Boy. Take a good look, you two. I always pick fire starters, the grass, the grass type, the fire type score bunny, and the water type sobble. But I'm thinking it might be more worth to go up with the water type. But I do love fire type Pokemon. But I'm also an earth witch, so you'd think I'd be more drawn to grass type. But I just never have been. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, line up everyone. They are so cute. Which will you choose? I don't know. This is such a big choice. You pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Oh, they're all so tiny and cute! Like, my natural affinity is going towards the Score Bunny. Because... I, I always, I love Fire-type Pokemon. So that is like, my heart is drawn to that one. But this Sobble, to be honest, is actually kind of really cute. And I really like it. And I kind of want to go water. But then I also want to stick to my earthy roots. I think I'm going to have to go with my gut and go with the score bunny. So cute. Built to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on the fire type Pokemon? Yeah. Uh... First, okay, thank you. I know you're trying to help Legendary Lando, but um, I would appreciate no spoilers. Thank you. That includes just telling me which gyms are coming up and stuff. Um, just because I've never played this before and I want to keep it kind of as blind as possible. Uh, you have a thing for fire. Yeah, I've got a bit of a thing for fire. Let's give him... Oh, that's something I meant to set up. I was going to set up a redeem thing so you guys could name the Pokemon. You could... Uh do your points. Let's do that quickly because it'll take me like two seconds to set it up. Um, I think it's here. Channel points. Nope. It's not there. Okay. Maybe this way. It's there. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, while I'm doing this, I screwed that up. Hang on. I am breaking everything. Okay, it's not gonna have the crystal on it because I'm an idiot and I didn't set this up. I knew I'd forget to do this. Uh, I'll set it at 750 for now and I can always adjust it accordingly. Okay, there we go. That is live and ready to go. So, who wants to name our first Pokemon? Also, thank you for the reminder to hydrate, Legendary Landy. Land I did remember, I'm gonna hydrate now. And thank you for understanding, uh, Lando, thank you. You know what, because it's the first one, I'll give you guys a free pass, you don't need to use your channel points if anyone can just come up with a name for Score Bunny. 
It is a male score bunny. So we can't name it Mavis. Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, Bugs. Let's call him Bugs. Thank you, Sunny. We'll call him Bugs. Let's do it with two Gs, that's kind of cute. Hi, Laka, how are you doing, my friend? It's so lovely to see you. I did choose School Bunny. I was just saying, like, I have such a thing for fire Pokemon, but it's weird because I'm an Earth Witch. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> so cute. I love the way it looks like he's got a little plaster on his nose. Yeah, I choose School Bunny. I'll go with Gricky. You're mine. Ooh, you went for my second choice. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Which uh, starter Pokemon did everyone else pick? I bet you will be, Hop. Good to finally catch you live. Oh, Lucka, thank you so much for being here. I heckin' appreciate you so much. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and T, so the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Oh, Sobble! Can I have Sobble too? No. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict but real strong and real kind too. He's so cute. Enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Ooh, yummy. It's score bunny. Yeah, we are so glad to have you with us, Looker. Ooh, kebabs. That music feels really familiar. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Bugs is very cute. I'm, yeah, I'm already feeling pretty attached. Of course I have, Lee. T's made fast friends with her score bunny too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking for at her for, Lee? I'll, I'm the one who's coming to challenge you. If you think T might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real tra- It's amazing how quickly he turns from being your friend and then being like- This is like bullying! Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first race in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Thank you for putting him in his place. Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if she's up for it. I haven't played this game, so I'm not sure, but I'd probably go for the fire type as well. Yeah, I don't. I think everyone's just kind of drawn to the fire type. I think it's like destructive. Yes, I'm ready. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that'll suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Mavis, what are you doing? I literally just changed my bed earlier. And Mavis came in after sitting in the rain for 10 minutes, so she was absolutely soaking, and was like, she's so, <laughs> she's giving me such a death stare for telling this story. Um, she's like absolutely soaking, and she came and lay on my new, newly made bed. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. Mavis, you're picking right now to be a pain. Really? You want to come sit with me? No, she's going to get herself caught us again. Two seconds, guys. I just need to... She, otherwise, she's going to start being a pain. Baby. She does this every stream. Every single time. Every time. <laughs> 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 
we're so zen in real life, but we're drawn to chaos and fire. Yeah, I think we're a little bit drawn to a little bit drawn to chaos and fire. Uh, Mavis is such a pain in the butt. Uh, the only Pokemon game where I didn't pick a fire type was Sapphire. I've not played Sapphire, so. <laughs> I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Let's hydrate, ready to go. I am ready. Pokemon trainer pops it up. He's got two Pokemon though. This doesn't seem fair. Let's go, Bugs. Yeah, he's got two, it's not fair. Uh, fight, I guess tackle, bugs use tackle, oh, kick in the face, the opposing Wooly use tackle, I guess just tackle again, oh, Not sure what, I think Growl just like lowers their defenses or something. Oh, we got XP points. Oh, level up. Sweet. Oh, we learned Ember. Yeah, we know you've got another Pokemon and it's a completely unfair battle. Uh... Let's try Ember, because that's good. Because I know that Fire is probably going to be pretty good against Grass type Pokemon. It's super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? Yeah. Scratch. Oh, Bugs isn't doing so good. Do I have a? I think I have a potion that they can use. Yeah. There you go. Let's just heal you up. There we go. Growl. I think it just lowers my attack here. Um, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna use Ember again. Cause it's super effective. Ooh. And then maybe Tackle? Just to finish him off. Oh, okay, that did not work. Scratched me. There we go, that should do it. The opposing Grookey fainted. Aww. We gained experience points. We leveled up again. We defeated Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that score bunny are too much. I got 400 Pokemon dollars for winning. That's a lot of money. I wonder what the conversion rate is. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join on all the fun. Good effort out there, school bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? No worries, Elwain. Thank you for being here. I hope that you have some good noms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just taking all the kids' money. Uh, you've got real promise. Oh, he, he's meant to be our friend as well. I've got a favour to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not be putting the cart before the rap stash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend T. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, T. 
That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a single Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my li This kid is really starting to annoy me. Like, he's... He, the arrogance runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, you better go tell your mum that you're about to travel across the entire country. Oh, I think the Wulu got out. Uh-oh. Oh no, the Wulu. I don't think it actually broke through here, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. T, what do you say? We have to go after the Wulu. Even if you're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do some what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, T. Going in. Should I go tell my mum first? No, we're just going. Okay. Oof. Oof. This doesn't bode well. I think that we're going to get in trouble. The Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The anywhere. Fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Can we catch- we don't have any Pokeballs yet, so we can't catch them. Oh, I feel so mean. Bugs used Ember. Oh, that was effective. Oh, I feel so mean. It's so cute. I know, it's so cute. Bye, Squovit. It's just fainted though. It's okay, Sunny. It's okay. It's just having a nap. And we'll see it again later. It's fine. It's gonna be totally fine. Oh! Sunny, I feel like you're gonna be really stressed out for the whole of this game. Oh, rickety! Let's try tackle. Ooh! Oh, that was... wow. Oh, it pecked me. There is no such thing as death in this Exactly! Eski! Eski. You fit in so well here. <laughs> death is not a concept we believe in on this channel. Death does not exist. We live our entire lives in complete denial. Zero deaths. Uh, so... <laughs> <gasps> was that Pokemon crying out? Where is it? So I think that this like whole area is just to um get us like used to like XP and practice and stuff. I never use growl and stuff. Like, I feel like I should. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, exactly! It's back! Squivet's back! Nice. Give us all the XP. Where's that Wooloo? That Wooloo might be in real trouble. Let me move, let me go. I hate it when games do that, when the other character runs off and you can't move yet. I can't see. This is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. I think we're about to encounter a big daddy Pokemon. What in the... Oh, you're beautiful. 
beautiful. That's such a pretty Pokemon. Is the other- oh, it did nothing. <laughs> if we ever catch this Pokemon, we're calling it daddy. I don't think anything's gonna work. Ooh. T, I can't see anything. Are you okay? I think we should just run. You can't run away? Growl? Bugs use growl. It's not gonna do anything. I can't see anything. Whoa! Oh, did we pass out? Did. Hop! T! Where's the Wooloo? How did you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Oh, okay, good. We found the Wooloo. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least that Wooloo's alright, yeah, T? Oh, I made the decision for us to come in here. I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. Our moves? My moves? You did nothing to help. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon, they say, live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. But now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now I'm here with you. Arrogant. Arrogance runs in this family. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Oh yeah, don't forget to tell your mum that we're leaving. <laughs> She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Uh, okay. Let's go in and tell our mum. Oh, by the way, mum, I'm just going to go and uh, travel across the entire country. Ah! Well, now, isn't School Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone offered to... I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? And then just going beyond. Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Centre. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that School Bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. <coughs> and you, School Bunny, look after my little tea. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I'm an itchy nose. Okay, bye, Mum. I will see you in like four years. We're going down this way. There he is. <laughs> no worries, Eski. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Even the way he's standing. Ugh. 
He, I don't like him. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof. The great and the great, great, and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, bye, dude. Ah, uh, so there's a bunch of Wooloos, so you can't get past here. You wouldn't want to wake up the sleeping Wooloo, right? Better to take the long way around, so you have to go through the tall grass. I get it, I get it. Oh, I ran straight into that bird. <laughs> so the tack wait, was it the tackle was more effective against this one? Bugs use tackle. <laughs> then they use peck. Oh! Oh! Let's try ember. Oh, that was good. Oh, poor little angry bub. I think I'm meant to fight you. Oh, what's this? I found a potion. I'm just going to take that. Thank you. Oh, I want that as well. I found two paralyzed heals. A spray type medicine for treating paralysis. It can be used to free a single Pokemon that has been paralyzed. Ooh. Encounter. You're back. Welcome back, Eski. Uh, You light that bitch on fire. A critical hit. It beat me. Punch it in the face. Oh my goodness, we need to use a potion. potion. Is it on bugs? So in case you hadn't figured it out, this is not a family friendly channel. <laughs> My defense fell. How rude. Punch it in the face. Or kick it in the face, I guess. Oh, I thought that was gonna do it. Oh, that was a big one. Ooh. Ah, uh, night night. Nighty night time. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Oh, we learned quick attack. A moment ago, you were like, oh my god, so adorable. And that's like, light this bitch on fire. I mean, Sunny, have you ever met me? <laughs> so we need to go to this building. Hi, Lee. Hi, Pi! How are you doing, my friend? It's so good to have you here. I'm so happy to see you. Well done. You reset. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, now I want pie. <laughs> oh, a chicken pie with chips. I wonder if we have any chicken pie. That sounds like such a good dinner. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. When we take our hydration break, I might try and find my, um, whatever it is. I've got a Pokemon, but I can't remember the name of it. Now in we go. I can't remember which one I've got, but I know I've got a Pokemon plush. No freaking clue where it is. But it's over there somewhere, but there's a huge pile of, like, uh, soft toys and stuff. It's in there somewhere. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. I love me a good library. Oh! Is it a dog? I want the dog. I want the pupper. I want the pupper. I need it. What is it today, Leon? Looking up for info on another never, besaw no. never before seen super strong Pokemon. I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. It's the best papa ever. It's so cute. I 
I've just realized how much of a he mess my hair is, so I'll ignore it. It's fine. Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa is a perfect name for that little, little champ. Real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer. Sonia! <laughs> Sunny! <laughs> you didn't tell me you were in this game. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were arrivals during our gym challenge? I can't cook though, what the heck? It wasn't just Yampa helping you out. I did too. She kind of even, she's got a little bit, like she's got similar glasses to you as well. And the hair's kind of similar, I guess. Sunny, it's you. Yeah, you've got like the same hair, like same glasses. Sunny, this is like the perfect cosplay for you. <laughs> nice to meet you, name's Sonya, I'm the professor's assistant. This is T, she's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? <laughs> Except you're blonde, yeah. Her hair's a little bit too gingery. What does he think I am? He's always got this. Got his head in the clouds. No, it's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Zzzt. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Not really, I'll, I'll be honest. Don't worry. Here, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. You obtained the Pokedex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received that Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Okay. So. Oh, that's bugs. Um on the map. She lives somewhere along Route 2, so one of these houses probably. What's this mystery gift? Get a mystery gift? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I'd just get something for free. Got excited there. Okay, let's... Can I be your friend? Let's go. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? Hi. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. He's gonna give me something for free. You just wanted something for free, I get it, yeah. <laughs> he gave me something for free, he gave me a potion. You put the potion in your bag's medicine pocket. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, their, their hit points gets low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during a battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Okay, so I'm meant to be talking to everyone I come across. Got it. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. Around here is just quiet countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. I have a feeling it will. Like, this is really pretty. Hi, who are you? I just broke into your house. Um, that rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home, down the far end of Route 2. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I probably killed your Pokemon a couple of times. Okay, I can't break further into that house. Yeah, I'm just breaking into that house. I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab, the opposite side is the station. Okay. Uh... I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence. I recognized him before you even got close. The Charizard pose, just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. You guys really need to get a life. Train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? Can I buy stuff? Oh, I can buy stuff. Oh my god, I've got so much money! 
Holy hell, how much pocket money did my mother give me? 31 grand? That's enough to... That's enough to like, buy a house. It's a lot of money. No, I'm good. Sorry, but please speak to me once again once you've had that back. Okay, so I don't think I can do anything in here yet. I think it's locked. You will come to absolutely hate Leon. I think I already do, bye. <laughs> He's not my I don't like his brother either. I find Hop really annoying. Uh, just a little, just a smidge. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckily, lucky yet, yeah, they're dead easy to spot. I've got the hiccups. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, T. Bet you've never been inside one. He's so arrogant. They're so, both of them are so arrogant. It annoys me. Level with me, T. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? No. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. My heart, every time you say Sonya, it's like, you're talking to me. Sunny, I'm always talking to you. But damn it, he just don't shut up about wanting to be stronger. Oh my god. His arc is nice though. Oh, okay. No spoilers. <laughs> I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, T. Come find me maybe when you're done here. Just leave me alone. I like his jacket. I like his jacket. It's got a nice jacket. Why is this like a bar? Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask away. Rate a nickname. Rate Bugs' nickname. Rate his nickname. Bugs, is it? That's quite a fine... Sunny, this is for you. That is quite a fine nickname. But I think we could give it something even better. No! <sighs> no. <laughs> Sunny, he doesn't like your nickname. Okay, bye. Uh, this is where we heal. Yeah, we might... Yeah, let's rest him up. It's only for like a second. That's where I knew that's some music from. Bye. Uh, this is where I can... Yeah, get, like, trade out Pokemon. Let's buy... I guess we'll buy some more... Uh, we'll buy one of them, because we only have one. Yeah. And then we'll get... I guess just some more potions. Let's get five. I think that should be enough. Oh wait, no, now I've got eight. Okay, then I want another two for the sake of consistency, having it as a round number. No, I'm good. Thank you. Can I talk to you? I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need and for free. Cool. Why does it look like a bar in there? Like a pub. It looks like a pub. Hee <laughs> hee. This month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Do you want to tell me your for- Yeah, tell me my fortune. In that case, can you tell me the month you were born? September. Day you were born, 22nd. Got it. So your birthday is- Well, it's the other way around because we're in the UK, but yes. Since you were born on the 9th, uh, 22nd September, your fortune is- Let's see here. Hmm, what's this stain here? Oh, it must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. <laughs> People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky! You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. Thank you, that was so unhelpful. But at least now it has my birthday. <laughs> oh, there's so much. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. I want to change my whole look. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? Oh my god, this looks so much like the shop I used to work in. 
I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. <laughs> that's me. I'm. That's just British, Sunny. <laughs> Thank you. That was so unhelpful. It's just. It's British. If you want to put something on that you brought, go ahead and use the fitting room. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hit the mic. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Ooh. Nice hoodie. Nice purple hoodie. Oh no, don't. I don't like the way that does that. Oh, we can get some skinny jeans. I don't like the skirts. I want some jeans, I think. Oh, the denim trousers, they're cute. I like this skinny jeans more, these ones. I think I have these exact trousers. But I kind of like the orange ones. But I don't know if the, oh no. I don't know if the orange ones would go with the purple hoodie. I think they would. Let's try them, we've got a lot of money. Uh, oh, I meant to say yes. Whoops, oh well. Put that on. Yeah. Yes. No, oh, I keep thinking it's Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, these are just socks. No, I like the boots more. Uh, I like the bag we've got as well. Oh, that's so cute! The beret. Oh, we've got the green one already. <gasps> we've got some glasses. You, I don't think you guys have ever seen me in my glasses, but I do wear glasses. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, just watched, uh, played and watched Pokemon games before. The nickname Rita always allows you to change the Pokemon's name, though in older games I think it was only once or something. It might have been more lenient in this one. Um, let's use the changing rooms to put on our... Trousers. That looks cute! Blue. Oh, so we had the black skinny trousers anyway. What's that? Oh, that one. Oh, so we have some glasses already. That's cute. Yeah, okay, cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I haven't played in a long time. This looks like a little market. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just realized, yeah, the webcam covers. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Got fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in some? Oh, yeah, the berries. Let's grab one of them. Yeah. And... Then if we give that to, give it to Bugs, nice. Yeah, this is how my character looks. She's pretty cute. I like the way she stands as well. To be fair, like this is pretty accurate to how I dress in real life. I just don't wear my glasses because I apparently hate my eyesight and want it to get worse. My Pokemon wakes me up and in the evening I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. Oh, I already spoke to that person. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake enjoying the slow life. Listen, T, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. 
and Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part two. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. It keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of route two, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. How do I get- I haven't got any Pokeballs. I need Pokeballs to catch- I do have Pokeballs. I have Pokeballs, so we're fine. Oh, but it's it's been an hour, so we're actually going to save really quick. And then we are going to- Hey, Alki! How are you doing, my friend? It's been a while. It's so good to see you. Um, yeah, we're going to take our quick hydration break now. Um, but I'm so glad that you're here, Alki. Um, we're going to take a quick hydration break. I would really, really encourage you to grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, take a step away from the screen if you need to. And I will see you guys in just five short minutes. Okay, let's go.
I'm eating some Sour Patch Kids. There we go. Um, how was everyone's breaks? I hope that you all had a restful break. Are you excited to see me play this? Oh, thank you so much, Elki. I'm excited. I'm enjoying this so far. I'm enjoying it more than I was enjoying Undertale. Not gonna lie. Um, I am enjoying it more than I was enjoying that game. Um, Nice. Um, still in the up to the ice gym. Haven't been playing that much compared to last month. I, you know, you're further than me. <laughs> Let's break into this person's house. But yeah, I got me some sour patch kids. This is, these are actually the last ones. Uh, Undertale, sorry, um, Elki. I wasn't enjoying Undertale very much. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, lesson one. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter the battle. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, lesson two. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon Trainers, lesson three. If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the power's move's power increases. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Yeah, this feels more apt for our chill Sunday PJ stream. You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bitties, Eski. You are doing you are being amazing. Thank you so much. Um I really heckin' appreciate you. Our bit goal for this month... Hell, sorry. It's really just for fun because um, we achieved our subscriber and our follower goal. So um, the follower goal is for technically September's goal, but I was like, ah, we'll just start it early. And then um, the bit goal was just for fun, but thank you so much, Eski. Um, I really heckin' appreciate you so much. Over here, T. All right, T, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. And also, if anyone does want to just join in with the fun, um, with the um, cheering, we do have some special um, amounts that you can cheer for special alerts. So, um, yeah, they can be pretty fun. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where did you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon, to cover one another's weaknesses. You always forget about those. Um, now let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. Okay. So slow. I think I've got it. 
and then sometimes it doesn't work. Gotcha! Oh, that one was sour. Ooh. Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. I called my Wooloo a Wooloo. Oh my god, that's so cute. Well, I have added a new channel point redemption thing where you'll be able to redeem your points to name our Pokemon as we go. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? 20 Pokeballs! You put the Pokeballs in your bag's Pokeball pocket. The Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they'll get experience points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Okay. You got it, bro. Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The, po the professor will be so shocked when she sees. Okay. <gasps> Hi! I'm super late, but thank you for the- Yes! <laughs> thank you again, Eski. <gasps> I want it! No, 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 we're catching this champ. We're catching this papa. So if you want to name this papa, get ready to redeem your points. Nice! Yampa was cool. And we gained experience points. Saving your points, Sunny. It's a choice you've got to make. What are you saving up for? Out of, uh, out of consideration. Out of consideration? Out of curiosity. Right. Who wants to name him? Anyone? <laughs> Excuse me. It's a female. Guys, one of you needs to name them because, uh, name her because. Oh, you are saving up for end the stream. <laughs> yeah, you need to, someone needs to name this dog because, um, otherwise I'm going to name it something rude. It's a female dog, guys. Oh, you're saving up for the song. Yeah, I think a lot of people are saving up for the song and it's limited. So if you all hit it at once, I think it's limited to two per stream. So if you all hit it at once, it's going to be, you're going to have to fight over it. Anyone want to name it? If you don't have enough points, you can just put it in the chat. But if you have the points, redeem the points. Anyone? Anyone want to name the dog? Why, Sunny? What what song are you planning on requesting? <laughs> Why do you need to be first? Okay. I guess no one wants to redeem, no one wants to name the, name the papa. Okay, I'm not gonna name it something rude. We'll just call it papa for now. And then if anyone does want to redeem at some point, we can always go and get it changed at a Pokemon Center. <laughs> Please do name it something rude. What's you, what's you? <gasps> you are so cute! No worries, Alki, no worries at all. I want you as well. Where was he hiding, Alki? Bugs leveled up!
Does anyone want to name this one or should I just... <laughs> Anyone want to name Nicket? Might just call him Nick. We'll call him Nick for now, and if anyone wants to, yeah, like from Zootopia. I dabbed a bit of like antiseptic stuff on his chin that's sore, so I don't want him looking. Oh, yeah. It's always difficult when you got poorly cats. Swiper! Oh, that's so smart. Swiper, no swiping. I want you as well. You're like a little rhino. Just gonna catch all the Pokemon. Not even trying to battle. This one chew it after the sweets. It looks like a rhino with his little horn. Don't degrade me for my inability to identify animals. Don't be rude or I'll ban you. <laughs> Don't even try me, Elky. <laughs> Uniturtle! <laughs> I could never ban you, Elky. Ooh! It's a kid! Let's defeat him. Let's crush this kid's dreams. Don't ban Elky. <laughs> Sunny, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeet the kid into a lake. <laughs> hey kid, I'm just gonna really quickly kill your Pokemon for you. Ooh. Oh, that one wasn't very effective. Just gonna set your little squirrel on fire. Ooh, tail whip. Whipping his tail at me. I have an affinity for fire Pokemon, Elky. Punch him in the face. Oh, they all gain experience points. I didn't realize that. I defeated the child. And I stole his pocket money. We're just bullies in this game, aren't we? Hi, I want you. Actually, I already have one of you, so I don't need you. I don't have a lot of pride to take in myself. So I'm just gonna uh, defeat the dog really quick. <laughs> comes into the stream she's gonna be like Devi's not gonna be able to handle the corgi death oh there's a pokeball found two potions trainer tips pokemon can gain experience points by battling on other pokemon experience points help them grow stronger and your pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a pokemon you are battling against 
Sweet. Can I jump? No. Oh, I want that. Why can't I jump? I guess I have to go up around here. Three Pokeballs! Uh, so I either have to go... I want to I wanna battle this bitch. Cute and strong, together in combination. Excuse me. Last Lauren. She sent out a chitty. I'm... Oh, Ember is not very effective, but Tackle and Quick Attack. I like the fact it tells me which one is effective. Because it didn't do that in the old games, as far as I can remember. For a chill game, today's stream is pretty chaotic. I feel like that just encapsulates me pretty nicely. Um, I try and be chill, but I can't... Ooh, that was a good one. But I can't help that be chaotic. I just can't help it. Can you change the color of your eyes? Why can't you have blue eyes? I have blue eyes in real life. This feels like I can't have- Oh! Maggie! <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Maggie! How are you doing, my friend? It's so good to have you here! Welcome, welcome! There's not really any proper, proper blue eyes. I want my representation, damn it! I defeated Las Lauren. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like her strength still has a ways to go. And I stole her, um... I stole all her life savings as well. Not like mine anyway. Uh, pro yeah, what do you mean by prop? That's actually a good question. What do you mean by prop otherwise? Oh, yes, another kid to defeat. Hey. Get on with you and being upset about the lack of blue eyes as I have them also. How do I change my eye color? You are challenged by Youngster Benjamin. Youngster Benjamin set out Flip Bug. That one's not as cute. I don't feel as bad about destroying this one. Set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, mine are like, um, greeny blue. Like ice blue and I think super unrealistic blue. Oh. S no. We'll keep bugs. So I just have like silvery lilac. Oh, I like the sound of that. Silvery Lilac sounds good. Mine are green blue too with amber in the center. I think, yeah, mine are similar, but I don't have the amber. Mine are more kind of sea green blue kind of color. Nice. I should probably start battling with some other Pokemon as well. Mine are like that icy blue, grey blue in colour. Oh, that sounds so pretty, Maggie. I love that kind of like really piercing blue eyes. It's like so stunning. Hi! Hi, little pupper. Can I just pet the pupper? I just want to pet it. I just want to pet the doggo. I guess we'll just set it on fire then. compress in I think the left stick and that just oh, okay I'll try that next time after I kick this dog in the face <laughs> he's shaking his little booty bye bye papa Sorry, but I need the experience points. Oh, 
Oh, I don't. Do I have one of them? The Chow. No. What's it called? No, I don't. We don't have one of the squirrels. Let's get this squirrel. And I want to call it Alvin. Like Alvin and the Chipmunks. I used to love those films as a kid. The Alvin and the Chipmunks film. To be honest though, I used to love the film because I used to watch um, Criminal Minds as a kid. I know, as a kid. Oh! then okay i'll punch you around the face and then i'll take you take you okay that wasn't very good stop biting me that wasn't what i meant to do get in the ball but uh matthew gray googler voiced uh simon in alvin and the chipmunks and he's in criminal minds so that's why i love those films Purely because Matthew Gray Googler was one of the chipmunks. Uh, yes, album of the chipmunks. I want to call it Sco. <laughs> Can't remember my name. Mind that. That's such a clever name. I love it. I grew up watching the animated series. Oh, the album and the chipmunks animated series. Wow, everyone leveled up except for Nick. Yes, Matthew Gray Googler. Did you know that he officiated Paget Brewster's wedding? I was like, that's so heckin' cute. I finally got round to watching the series finale of, um, of, ooh. Yes, I want to give Squirt a nickname, and I'm going to call him Alvin, even though it's a girl. She's going to be called Alvina. There we go. Oh. Alvina. There we go. Yes, Jesse McCartney was Theodore. Uh, he was the youngest one. School <laughs> I'm meant to be encountering these ones as well to update my Pokedex. So I think if I just um, attack these ones, I think I should probably try and catch one because I don't have one. Let's try catching. Pro tip because sometimes I find that bring Pokemon's health right down it still doesn't want to be caught. If you just put a status effect on it that can usually help a lot better. Oh, okay. So if I use the growl that should help. Oh no, I didn't mean to run. It's alright, there's another one here. in the face. Poo. Okay, <laughs> that was not the right answer. Oh, like paralysis or sleep? Oh, okay. Nick learned home claws. That didn't, I have to catch it for it to update the Pokedex, okay. All right, we'll catch one eventually. That didn't take it out, okay. Come on, get in my ball. Yeah. We got it! Who wants to name it? Who wants to name the rickety? So I think we were meant to try and catch a Wooloo as well. Right, who wants to name it? Because I don't have any ideas for this one. Please someone give me an idea. Oh, I could call him Burb. Let's call him Burb. 
Unless anyone wants to redeem their channel points for a naming ceremony. William Burb in five, four, three, two. His name is Burb. His name is Bob the Burb. That's his full name, but we just call him Burb for short. I don't really want to go all the way back to catch a Wooloo. Tweedledee! Oh, that's smart. Look! There's the professor! So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, though. The whole thing is still full of questions. Ugh. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Bye. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. I like her. Now come, let's head indoors. She looks really cool. Is a wife- Oh, is that Sonia? <laughs> By hop, dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. <laughs> Sonny, Elkie loves you. And you must be T. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right T? Professor Magnolia has been doing it for... Doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. This woman. Guys, this is me in like 60 years. This woman is me. <laughs> hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee that he should endorse us for the gym challenge. This kid! Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and T only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Theory, I thought your dream was to become- was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? <laughs> oh yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave both- gave them both Pokemon, in fact. I hate the fact he wears a cape. You're the best, T. Oh, thank you, Owen. Is that just because I really like tea? I am drinking, this tea is, um, forest fruits and ginger. Forest fruits and ginger. And it's in one of my favorite mugs. If any of you remember the, I'm going to drop this, uh, the Baymax mug. It's in my Baymax mug. It's literally the size of my head. It's such a big mug. It is an enormously huge mug. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me- I forgot to find my Charizard! Or whatever it is. I just thought because I have this enormous Baymax that I was like, oh I could go and show you my big Baymax and then I was like, oh I was gonna go and find my uh, whatever it is. Pokemon. Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shapes before the battle starts. With his healing touch. Right, I'll be waiting outside, T. I just did a ton of washing out that I've put off for like a month or something. It was mostly mugs and I do wash them out after I use them, but still they need properly washing. Oh uh, yeah, I, I used to do that when I was at uni. I definitely love having the dishwasher again. I'm coming! I hope that Leon endorses me and not him. Yeah, I know what you mean, Elki. Come on then, bitch. Let's go. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna start skipping through your, your uh, dialogue because honestly, you're so annoying. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers in battle too. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. See, I just I put everything through the dishwasher. I'm way too lazy. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Time for my legend to begin. I'm gonna whoop your ass. 
I'm gonna beat you so hard. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon he sent out Woo Woo! Go, Bugs! Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. I'm gonna fight you so hard. I'm gonna set you on fire. So cute. No worries, Alki. Punch him in the face. A critical hit! <laughs> yeah. Shows you hop. Everyone gained experience. Oh, I'm burp leveled up. About to send out Gricky. Nope, we're gonna stick with stick with bugs. Let's go with a tackle. Push. Have a taste of our true power. Our green power just creeps on growing stronger and stronger. The opposing Grookey used Branch Poke. Oh, ha! It's not very effective. Ooh! It's super effective! Night night, Grookey! Nice! Bugs grew to level 12. Oh, we need to remember. Yeah, let's forget. I never use Growl. So let's get rid of Growl. And learn Double Kick instead. Oof. Learn Double Kick. And then Chew It grew up to level 8, and Burb grew up to level 7. Nope, we're going to stick with. It'll be a close one. It's really not, my dude. I am wiping the floor with you. Uh, let's do a quick attack. Push. Ooh, that was good. And then we'll do a tackle. Punch him in the face. And we won. One Pokemon to your three. Puppet grew to level nine. Alvina grew to level eight. Sweet. You defeated Hop. Oof. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. I wiped him out as well 640 pokemon dollars <laughs> then i even got my pokeball through perfect too the sting of defeat and the joy of victory i guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger right mission successful i suppose i've got both and why him he lost like he he failed miserably Give me an endorsement, but he was terrible. Okay. <laughs> you put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key items pocket. Nice. Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and pretty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and, were bo Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. <sighs> Uh, sorry. Excuse me. It's so much talking is making my throat, like, tired. I'm not actually tired, but my throat is tired. Honestly, I've been so worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you've really grown a bit, little brother. Yeah, I want to prove myself. I'd like to see you some more thrilling Pokemon- Oh. I'm not thrilling enough for you? Right then. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that comp champion's title. And I'm going to wipe the floor with you. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh, what's that? It's a shooting star. 
sparkly. T, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Thanks. A wishing star. You put the wishing star in your bag's key item pocket. Stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. Massive. I want a giant pupper. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. All oh, right, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give T and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First, we, get, we got to battle against that mad Pokémon in the slumbering wield, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. Subtle! Oh, thank you for the reminder to hydrate, Esgi. My throat does need that. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Everyone, have a drink. Oh, it's Sonya! Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. That hop kid is just... It's really... I don't like him. <laughs> I don't know what we're having for dinner, but after the chicken pie thing earlier, when I was like, oh, chicken pie, I really want chicken pie. It's morning at last, and it's time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. T tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A, f a right fount of information you are. T, Hop, these are for you. What is it? Ooh, a Dynamax band. A wishing star has been affixed to it and lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not as simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet. If you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Shut up. Come on, T. I'll beat you to the station. Yes, this is Shield. This is Pokemon Shield. What's that on the side? Why? Why can't we as many ways to connect with other players? You'll be welcome to swap Pokemon, take part in Pokemon battles, and door. Or. Oh! Oh, that's cool. It's kind of distracting. Oh. Oh, wait, there was something sparkly there. Can I have it? Nice. Just stealing the stuff from this woman. Oh, there was a Pokeball down there. found a great ball oh my god I'm sorry excuse me I don't know what's wrong with me <gasps> nice
Wait, can I like explore her house and like steal her stuff? Yes. Well, this is a nice bedroom. I want this bedroom. Okay, I can't take anything. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is exactly how I want my future house to to look. It's just it's perfect. Oh, uh, hop. Uh, got some great advice for me, do you? You know how sometimes these Pokemon will run up to you if you move real slow and crouch down, these Pokemon will pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember then you fail proof check, press the stick. Okay, so that's the whistle thing. Cool. Okay, I'll see you back at the station. Bye! Oh, a Zigzagoon! I want a Zigzagoon! Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I'm not even tired. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. It's like my throat. Nice. Oh, you have a name? Would you like to redeem your points to name the Pokemon? Kind of, I kind of, I have a name as well. I have an idea. But if you would like to redeem your points to name Le Pokemon, you are more than welcome to redeem your points to name Le Pokemon. <laughs> what would you like to name the Zigzagoon Elky? Hufflepuff! Oh, that's cute. But with this, I do have to give my usual disclaimer that I have with any Harry Potter related thing. I do not support Harry Potter. I do not support uh, JK Rowling. I just don't. I'm not. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Uh, I apologize. And I do not hold it against you if you are a Harry Potter fan. Hi! Oh, so cute! Oh my god! Oh, I ran straight into you. Well, now I'm gonna have to set you on fire. I'm sorry. Ooh, double kick is effective. We haven't used that one yet. Poo. Poo. Nice. Hey, Debbie! How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Look, it's the little corgi. It's the little corgi butt. I'm sorry I'm about to set it on fire. I'm sorry, Devi. <laughs> Pokemon is going okay. There's a lot of dialogue and it's making my throat hurt a little bit, but we're having fun. I'm sorry I set the corgi on fire, but we have a corgi and his name is Papa. It was necessary, I'm sorry. Yep, Harry Potter is just, it's his own thing, but I don't... I'm not a fan of the um, the actual, the book either, to be fair. <laughs> the books, the films, I'm just not a fan of the franchise. I don't like it. There's a lot of problems with it that people don't like to talk about. And then I got very um, 
even more swayed in how much I don't like it because when I started to talk about the problems of the book and everything and um, how I didn't like it, um, it was about two, three years ago, I started to like kind of talk about how I don't like Harry Potter and people used to get really like mad at me about it and I got a lot of hate for it so it just fueled my dislike of the franchise even more. So yes. So I whistle at the corgi. Ah! He's so cute! Oh I ran straight into the burb as well. Yeah it, people needed to Everyone that yeah, everyone left the chat. I don't care if you don't wanna if you don't wanna hang out with me because I don't like Harry Potter, that's completely your own choice. Um I'm just here to hang out and play with Pokemon. <laughs> and chill out in my PJs with some tea. That's what I do. <laughs> I know it's so cute, isn't it, Debbie? As soon as we saw it, I was like, oh my god, Debbie! <laughs> It's so fucking cute. It is kind of hard to be constantly uh, killing the little cute creatures. Just to, yeah, yeah, like I have that appreciation for it in terms of, is it following me? Oh, no, that's other ones are coming for me. I don't want the other ones. Um, yeah, it was like a big part of my childhood too. Um, oh. Nice! A little sparkly. Um, yeah, it was a big part of my childhood too, but still, like, that was just, yeah. I kind of left it behind. It's perfectly all good and that everyone must like it. I believe everyone has their own reasons why they like certain things. Exactly, Sunny. Like, I'm not gonna hold it against you if you like Harry Potter, like... That's your choice, but my choice is that I don't. And that's fine too. Nice. Thanks, dude. Looks amazing. Yeah, like this, I am um, a TM. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash, and you can use them again and again too. That one can teach the move Swift. So Lee gave it to me ages ago, and that's yours. Um, okay, let's go get on the train. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, I managed to get this game for an amazing price. It is second hand, but obviously that doesn't matter. Like, it's fine, it still works. Um, but I managed to get it for £24. And then with postage and packing included, it was £27 in total. Hi, Mum. A new day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner. Kind of so let's know that you two are setting out. Here's a last little gift. Thank you. I got some camping gear. I hate camping. Uh... Fine, thanks mom. I think I'll like you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. I hope that the mom just endorses me. <laughs> like that mom must be so exhausted with these two arrogant kids. Yeah, we'll be fine. Bye. Your yeah, mom has one tattoo with brown hair version. Oh, that they change. Lots of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go. Okay, bye. These kids. Motor Stoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. I want to do some fishing. Very sorry. Oh, no worries, Dylan. I mean, we are going to be ending in about five minutes. Um, But actually, Dylan, while you're here, 
um, you will notice that you have your wand. Uh, we call our mod swords our wand. Um, but if you could actually head into the Discord for me and just um, have a read through... Devi, you haven't seen this mug. Um, if you could have a read through the info for mods and just make sure that everything's good, then that would be super helpful for me. Thank you. Devi, look at it. Devi, look at it. Devi, look. Devi. <laughs> it's the size of my face. <laughs> it's so big. Yes! It's a giant Baymax mug. I can never finish anything in there. Yes, the wild area station. I'm sorry to tell you the train has halted you to a flock of Wooloo. I know, I love it so much. It's enormous. What's well, there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. What is? The wild area is massive. There are loads of po Pokemon to battle. This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Okay. It is from Disney World, yes. I'm allowed to buy, whenever we go to Disney World, I'm allowed to buy one mug, and that was my purchase last year. This actually might be a good place to kind of round up, because I also want to try and see if I can find that char... Oh God, I can't remember. What's the first, um... What's the first, uh, the starter name for the Pokemon of the Charizard? What's the starter name for it? Because that's the one I have, I'm pretty sure. But I was also going to show you. Charmander, thank you. I have a Charmander. Um, so I was going to go see if I could find that really quickly and show that off before the end of the stream. And I was also going to show you uh, my Baymax. I think a couple of you have seen my big Baymax, but I have two Baymaxes. So I was going to show off my Baymaxes because today's kind of a Baymax stream. Um, and see if I can find my Charmander. Um, but it's over there somewhere, but it's like... Uh... Okay, I don't really know if I want to show off my room because it's super messy. But I want to show... I do kind of want to show you this situation. Okay. Uh, this is... A giant pile of soft toys and cushions and um, like uh, you can see the giant Baymax there. It's a big ass Baymax. Um, it's like cushions and and, and and all kinds of stuff, um, like soft soft stuff basically. Um, so I need to dig through there really quick. Um, so bear with me two seconds and I'll see if I can find the Charmander and. You kind of saw the big Baymax, but I got two Baymaxes, so I'll grab the Charmander and the smaller Baymax, and I will be, um, I will just be two seconds, okay? I'm finding lots of my old soft toys over here. Finding lots of these babies. So I might start doing like a featured soft toy per stream. So we have, this is my Baymax, my ba little baby Baymax. It's just a regular size Baymax. Uh, this was the one I had first and then um, I got the big Baymax last year. And then I have Charmander. <laughs> we have Charmander and he's got a little, oh, he's got a lot of cat fur on him. Um, Styles has been sleeping on Charmander, um, and he's got fire on his tail. I think he's from Builder Bear. Uh, yeah, he's from Builder Bear. So he's from Builder Bear. He's really cute, really adorable. Um, but yeah, I might just start doing like a featured soft toy per stream because um, I, yeah, I have so many. <laughs> Yeah, and they did like Eevee, Charmander, and um, I can't remember which one else. I also found like my Peter Pan, I've got my Pegasus over there, I've got like four different Minis and Mickeys, um, I've got Thumper from Bambi, I've got loads. But anyway, okay, oh I should have gone to Intermission for that, that would have made me I'm smart, I know how to do things. Um, okay, anyway. 
Um. Uh, so let's figure something out. Thumper, Thumper is super cute. Um, really, really cute. Um, Sunny, my love. Um, oh, and Devi, I guess you're here, but I know you're on mobile, so it might be difficult for you. Um, but my dear darling mods, could someone help me find a raid target? Because I thought that I had someone live. Um, but they are not live. And I thought was live is not live. Try Wait, I might have someone. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh. I'm just checking. 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 Checking. We are just checking. Okay, okay, I've got someone. It's cool. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna read over to this wonderful wonderful person um they are playing some sims 4 so we're sticking with the chill vibes um and she is doing the 100 baby challenge which you know we love the 100 baby challenge here um so let's go and show her some love um oh thank you sunny um so you can copy and um, i can spell um, you can copy and paste this raid message as we go over, um, to, <laughs> to keep sharing the love so we can all share the love and just spam her with lots of love. Um, and yeah, so we're going to show her lots of love. We're going to have a really good time and, uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I've had so much fun. This has been a really fun game, really nice and chill, really um, relaxing for our Sunday PJ stream. So if you want to come and hang out with me uh, at any other point this week, um, tomorrow I might be going live with a surprise Spider-Man stream. I haven't decided yet. It will be a surprise stream, um, but I am doing a bonus stream on um, Tuesday, playing some Spider-Man, and then I will... Uh, be going live on Wednesday with some Detroit Become Human. I will be going live again on Thursday with some Spoody Man And then on Saturday we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn So there's lots to come and hang out with so if, please make sure that you're following if you aren't already and let's go show All the love to this wonderful wonderful person. Thank you guys for all the love. I really heckin appreciate you. You are amazing um, Bye everyone. Let's go. Okay. Ready. Okay. Okay. Bye The witches are coming. Oh, thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, the little fire.